somebody's moving that bar to see what it has. Yeah, they're all moving out. Yeah, they have to I don't need to take it out there, it's gone. They were out like it. put all the windows and stuff in that trailer, probably Testing one, two. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. good morning. All right. That was a good, good morning anyway. Way to go. But we do have a good morning today. It's starting to rain outside a little bit. We need a little of that. That's good. We have a nice service plan today, and we've had a, a very eventful week. I'm so thankful to see everybody here today. And everybody kind of sat up front. Kind of, that's kind of interesting. That's really nice. Anyway, we have some new visitors with us today. I'll be talking about that. Anyway. We got a nice service plan for you. We're excited. We're going to start off with some worship right now. We're going to sing a song we're going to be talking about in the days of Lot. So will it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. <clears throat> we're going to be talking about the rapture. And we're going to be talking about the state of the nation. So if we can stand together, we're going to sing a song called In That Day. When we see him in his glory. Here we go.
are because we will be like you, Lord. We thank you so much for this day. We thank you for all who have come today, Lord, and we have so much to be thankful for. We ask for these things and we thank you for these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated, everybody. Right now I have Moses' announcement job today. He is in the hospital today. I'm excited that we have a new grandbaby, a Judy, Judas, or Judy. I'm off to a good start. Anyway, he's going to watch this too. So, Judah Rodney Daniel Bergstrom is what his name is. Praise the Lord. Eight pounds and 13 ounces. A big boy. And we're excited about that. And they're very excited too. So that is, that's really a, a neat thing for us. Of course, I've had the, the girls with us this week. And of course, they've been beating me and wrestling and stuff. And, and this heat wave has gone through. They don't notice it that much, you know. I do, but they don't notice it that much and stuff. But they're, they've been fun. They've been good. We've been having a good time with them. And hopefully they're going to be home today, though, and they're excited about bringing that little baby home with them. I want to remind everybody that there is no drawing today. We're going to wait for, for that for next week and stuff. We normally do it on the last week of the month and stuff, but we're going to go ahead and do it next week instead. <clears throat> and I wanted to go ahead and go, hallelujah, we've got our niece and nephews down here today, one and two. Uh, Jessica, Isaac, and Noah are here with Grandma sitting down there today. We're excited to have them here, and they're going to be with us for a few weeks. I think so, for a little while, until, unless they get in trouble. No, not really. <laughs> they won't get in trouble. They're good kids. Also, um, we see that it's uh, going to be the 4th of July next week. It's coming up on us quickly and stuff. And so it's, we have a big heat wave that's coming through and stuff, too. And we've been able to hear the brand new news of the Supreme Court, too. And they're redefining marriage and stuff because God didn't really know what he was talking about that much and stuff. And so now we have a new definition of what marriage is. And we will definitely be talking about that today and stuff. So, you know, which... Actually, we're going to be pointing it out in the Word of God today, so we're excited about that. We also have some other events that are happening that Don and Bobby on Tuesday, they've been married for 42 years. Right. Praise the Lord, that's always a good testimony. We love to see that. And Bill and Doris, they're going to have a celebration today because on Thursday they've been married 65 years. Right. My goodness, what a testimony that is, too. So we're excited about that anyway, and we have a lot to be excited for today, and I'm just thankful that everybody's here. We have a nice message today, and it's going to be a nice service, and right now, that'll be all for right now. We'll have our reading from the Word of God right now. Romans chapter 1, verses 18 through 22. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Romans chapter 1, verses 18 through 22. Praise the Lord. That's a, setting us off on what is happening to this world today. And it was foretold clear back in the past about the time of Jesus, and this is Paul's writing, and of course, this is New Testament talk, not Old Testament. And so we're going to continue on with worship right now. We're going to sing another song of the rapture called, Here is Our King, followed by the power of His love. Searching comes 
the look itself. Reason what we're looking for, so be quiet now.
us that with all of our sins, Lord, when we come to you and ask for forgiveness, you are faithful to forgive us, Lord, as long as we acknowledge him as sin. But Lord, we are just so thankful that your, your love is so strong and so powerful that you loved us this much to do these things for us. We have so much to be thankful for, Lord. We thank you for hearing us and hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated, everybody. Right now we have our time of prayer. And uh, so if you would bow your heads together with me right now, we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we thank you for this opportunity to pray and the power that comes when we pray in numbers. I thank you especially, Lord, for those who have come to unite together for this fellowship and so that we might be together. For it is such an encouragement for me, Lord, to have these people together. Lord, we just pray and we try to want to be interceders for everybody. We have so much to pray for, yet you've done so much for us, Lord. I pray for our nation, especially, Lord, that we would find our way <clears throat> and not go the wrong direction, Lord. And even though it seems that we are, Lord, I just pray that you would still continue to work in the hearts of the people and humble them, Lord, so that they might want to seek your will and do as you would want us to do and not lean on their own understanding. For it seems sometimes our own understanding is so different than your will that that's one of the reasons that people don't want to seek you anymore, Lord. They want to do what they think is right. And we don't know what is right, Lord. We only know what you say is right. And we need to acknowledge that our prayers are not heard unless we're in the will of God. And that is knowing what you want and praying for those things that you want. And so, Lord, we just pray that you would just work a miracle in our nation. We thank you for hearing our prayer about that. Lord, we have a prayer request for Sarah, the children's dad that are here with us today. In Brookings, she is, and she's looking for a place to live. And I just pray that you would help her find the right place and just bless her and encourage her as she is looking, Lord, and just help her faith to grow as she goes through this trial to help her to know that you're there and you're watching after her and you care about her every need, Lord. Teach her to seek you with a whole heart and so that you might bless her in a big way. We thank you for that, Lord. We want to thank you for Judah, who has been born to Moses and Megan. And we pray not only that he lives a healthy life and that he is, uh, seeks you, learns to grow in you, Lord, as I'm sure he'll be dedicated to you, too, like their others, and that you would just put a hedge of protection around that whole family and bless them and keep them content and just work in their lives, Lord. We <coughs> thank you. We, we just are so thankful, Lord, that you hear our prayer about them. And we just know that you're going to just work in their lives. And I'm so thankful for them, Lord. We have so much to be thankful for. And Lord, we are thankful for um, Isaac and Noah and Jessica to be here with us today. We just pray that you would just bless their time here with Grandma and with uh, Great Grandma, that they would just have a, an enjoyable time and that, that you would just work in their lives too and increase their faith and help them to know the importance of having you as their Savior. So Lord, just bless them. Bless these people that have come today too, Lord. Touch their hearts and lives in a way that they feel so good that they have you looking after them and that they know that you love them so much. And so I thank you again, Lord, for this opportunity to pray and for all those who are here and for those who have a prayer request that didn't get it in, Lord, I pray that you would touch them at their need and help them. Help them with their ministry, for we're all evangelists. We all have a ministry, Lord. We all have people that are unbelievers in our life that need to be encouraged. And even believers in our life that don't know you very well that need to be encouraged with your word. And so, Lord, I pray that you would just <clears throat> touch these people and anoint them so they would have the right words and they would be the right examples for people to learn from. And so, Lord, we turn it over to you. We turn these people over to you. We turn this service over to you. We pray that you're exalted through it. And we just thank you for your word today. And we thank you for everything you're doing in our lives and in this church. And we thank you again and ask for these things in your precious name, we pray, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Thank you for praying with me. Can we have our ushers come forward today, Don? Would you? 
Oh, uh, for Bill's not in here either. Just up, uh, uh, Ron, would you want to help for this? Thank you very much, Ron. Right now we're going to sing a hymn called Victory in Jesus, because that's what we have. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. We can do all things with him who strengthens us. Praise the Lord. Well, now it's time to stand up and greet somebody and make them welcome. We're going to switch over for the sermon. We'll be started in just a moment. And children, you're excused at Children's Church. Make somebody welcome and we'll be started in one minute. Yeah. Enjoying the coldness in here. Good morning. 